This is Frog Valley Tropical Fruit Farm, and I want to do a video on propagating bromeliads. It's part of a, our whole, or my whole thing here is, is I like to grow all my own plants. And I collect plants that I like, like Encephalardos and bromeliads but I'm kind of picky about which bromeliads I get I like the really big ones so and the really bold colored ones otherwise they just don't stand out so this is a giant this is the biggest ichnea. Uh gets like more than four feet tall and this is the bunch of Tiana and orange. And this is Pinot Noir. And in between all these bromeliads, I have a couple of tropical fruit trees and I have little plumerias cuttings and I have Quite a few encephalardos and some apuntias and some cacti and the encephalardos you don't even see because they're just so tiny and slow growing right here is the encephalardos with a new leaf coming out on it right there um, I like the blue ones, so it looks like it's probably Longifolius, but I've been wrong before, and it could be that it's not Horridus, and Cephalardus Horridus uh, has definitely got nastier spikes on it, like hooks. But anyway, back to the bromeliads. Um, so... I only bought one plant of each color. This is a different type. I forget which one that is. Um, and then I divide them. And I like bromeliads because butterflies are really attracted to them and they provide like a dry space underneath their foliage um, that's needed sometimes for different animals. Probably animals people don't like. So here's a Olisapo tree. Still looking quite nice. And here's Encephalardus horridus. It's sending out new leaves right there. And I don't water these when I get them. I just dip them in biodynamic uh, 500 rainwater. But to divide these, you can divide them all the way up or cut off the, these suckers, um, that come up. So here's two right here. So remove this one and just leave one. And um, if you do that, you can keep, it'll keep sending out new pups until the flower dies. So that's kind of what I do here. I just keep, cause I don't want them to overtake cause I don't want my uh, encephalardos to get completely blocked by everything, rain and sun, so. I keep thinning them in here because I just kind of just use this for a propagation area. And this is what I've uh, grabbed this morning so far. So this is the giant one that turns red. And this is Pinot Noir. It turns, it's a dark, darker red. It's this red one right here. 
in the sun, and it gets a lot bigger than that. So then I just plant these around, populate other space with them, and just keep doing them. But I know each one of these little pups is like $20 a piece. So it's like a, could be a never ending money stream um, while you're growing tropical fruit trees in a biodynamic natural system like this. I have native palms I've planted in there. And of course these are native palms. I love them. So I see, I did, forgot one right here. So this can be taken off and you can keep taking them off and you can get like five up to like, I don't know, I think the most I've ever gotten was like seven off one plant. Um, I just keep taking them off and taking them off while the plant is blooming. So this one gets taken off. That's the flower spike just starting. So you just leave, you keep taking the pups while the plant is flowering and the flowers alive. And this is one that's flowering and I'm removing the pup. So I already pre-cut this one with the clippers. You just go right down to where it's connected at the, from the mother plant and you cut. And then you just pull this out. And then you just plant this right in the ground. Pull off these bottom leaves and, and uh, plant that part in the ground. That's all you do. No water. And they might fall over, but you can just straighten them up. It's not going to hurt them if they fall over and stay fallen over for a while. They're like cacti almost in that regard. So here's one that where the, the flower of the bromeliad is completely exhausted and it looks like it's gone to seed. I wonder if there's seed in here. Um, but uh, so I leave this last pup, even though I could send off one more because it looks like the plant is still okay but I just want to leave that last one there. That's what I do. And there's citrus in here and heliconia and star fruit, uh, ice cream bean, and bromeliads and gingers. But anyway, I just wanted to do a video on propagating our bromeliads here at Frog Valley Tropical Fruit Farm. Biodynamic natural farming.